Item 10F, adopt a resolution authorizing the City Manager to execute a contract change order with Technology, Engineering and Construction, Inc., and appropriate $40,000 from the General Fund Reserve to the Diesel Storage Tank Replacement Project for the remediation of contaminated soils and groundwater. Staff report, please. Good evening, Honorable Mayor and Council. Good evening. I'd like to begin my presentation by providing a little background information for the project. In 1999, the city removed an underground gasoline tank behind the fire station 51 next to the city hall. And it was during construction that it, it was discovered that the tank has leaked and the contaminated the surrounding soil next to the tank. And since that day, the city has conducted long-term monitoring and sampling and for the past 10 years uh, to determine the extent of the contamination. It was not until earlier this year that the city was notified by the San Mateo County Health that the gasoline contamination has brought to a level that's low enough that it is no longer a threat to public health and that the site is now considered clean. So given this history of high cost and extensive monitoring associated with underground storage tank contamination, the city proactively awarded a contract in October 2010 to Technology Engineering Construction, Inc., which will be referred to as TEC for the rest of this presentation, to remove the diesel tank that is also behind the fire station 51 and to replace it with an above-ground diesel tank. However, during the diesel tank removal this March, it was discovered that diesel fuel was present in the tank pit. And subsequently, city staff met with San Mateo County Health and TEC to determine what would be the best alternative for mitigation. And the first option is to backfill the pit as originally planned and to monitor the area for an extended period of time to con ensure that the contamination dissipates. However, further cleanup action may still be required in the future. The recommended option is to further excavate the tank pit and to take fresh samples after the excavation. Staff expects that by removing the soil that is adjacent to the tank, and that would, sh and eventually it will show an acceptable level of diesel concentration and allow the site to be backfilled with no further monitoring required. And this additional work can be awarded to TEC as a contract change order. The or original contract with TEC was $153,000. The cost for the proposed change order is $38,000 and $38,014, which would bring the revised contract amount to $192,000 and $14. Staff is requesting an additional appropriation of $40,000 from the General Fund Reserve to, for this change order. Thank you, and I'm here to answer questions. Good. Any questions regarding the tank replacement? Michael? Uh, just a couple of uh, quick questions. Uh, one of them I'm wondering, the, in the report it says the tank was recovered intact, yet there was some contamination. How, how did that happen? Um, I would hate to speculate, but during fueling 
of a vehicle. I mean, the, the, the fuel pumps that were of older, uh, kind of antiquated now, they have the tendency to spill while you're removing the nozzle from the tank. And that could have caused spillage into the ground and in longer term resulted in um, contamination. And this could also be caused by the fueling of the diesel tank. Okay. So the equipment that's in place now with the above ground tank would be less likely to have that sort of accidental contamination. Yeah. All the fueling, uh, the fueling apparatus up to date and, and the, the tank above ground that was installed is double walled. The piping was double walled. So the entire operation is tank within a tank with spill containment implemented. All right, and I think this, uh, this recommendation is, is sound. It's probably better to get it out of the ground rather than wait and see if there's anything in there and give it time to spread around. I was wondering, though, what was the total cost of the 10 years' worth of monitoring on the previous tank ballpark? Um, I will have to research that information and get back to council. But it was a continuous monitoring every quarter groundwater and soil sampling. And it, I can assure you that it's way more than the 40,000 that we are asking for for this okay. change order. Good enough. Thank you. Yeah. I don't have exactly the number, but uh, uh, this was more than $100,000 cost. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there will be no uh, further question or comment. I'll move to adopt the resolution authorizing the city manager to execute a contract change order with TEC. Councilmember Medina. Aye. Vice Mayor Salazar. Aye. Mayor Ruane. Aye. 